Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today I'm going to do my Ipsy bag. Yay! So I got my Ipsy bag, and this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a red lace with black trim. And uh, the theme this month is, it's called Spellbound. So, let me put the card aside. So I'm just going to try on the stuff, you know, as we go. And so I'm going to use this first thing here. It's called Hey Honey. And it's a concealer. Natural tone concealer. And I've already uh, put some things on my face, so I'm ready for this. And I'm just going to put this down and see if I can, how it how it works. This is this is a nice color. It's definitely brightening up underneath my eyes. I like it. It's got like a medium coverage concealer. Medium to full coverage. I'm just using a little dot. And I'm just blending it out with the warmth of my fingertips. And take it up around my tear duct. That looks nice. All right. So the next thing I got was the Cella Blonde Eyebrow Color. And it's got this kind of a tip. It's real short. I mean slender. Real slender tip. Reminds me of uh, like a pencil. So anyway, this is what that looks like. And I already put that on my eyebrows today. I cheated. I cheated. I did a couple of things ahead of time to save time on the video. And I was trying to, you know, get my eye look finished. So, this is uh, the shadows from the Urban Decay palette. The Urban Decay Shadow Box palette from earlier today. So, I went ahead and put on mascara and, and did my eyebrows. And I put on some face makeup. And I'll get into that here in just a minute. Uh, the... Next thing I pull out of my bag is the Context Vitamin C uh, Day Cream. It's for the eyes, a day eye cream. So I use that already, and it's very uh, light. It only takes just a small little pea-sized amount, and you've got enough for both eyes. And it, dry, it absorbs into the skin really, really well. So I'm going to enjoy using that, no doubt. Okay. And since I've already got my foundation on, I'll go ahead and use... I got this powder, y'all, from IT Cosmetics. It's a Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. It's a, it's a finishing powder. So, and it comes with a little sponge. But it's really finely milled. And so, instead of using the sponge, I'm going to use a brush. And I'm just going to put this right underneath my eyes because I um, just want to test it out so we'll just use it to set down that actually it's a finishing powder so it's not really made for setting down but it's so finely milled I feel like it's going to work really nice so instead of wearing a bunch of powder today I'll just use this underneath my eyes but that's really, really nice. It's really finely milled. It reminds me of uh, the e.l.f. translucent powder that I use underneath my eyes. Keeps those fine lines and wrinkles from showing up. It doesn't settle down into your the creases of your skin. So anyway, I really don't have a whole lot of pores underneath my eyes. but So let's just try it right here on the nose as well. Because I do have pores there. And let's see how this works. It 
So that gives it more of a matte appearance. So we'll use that some more and we'll see how that works out with different foundations and and creams, BB creams and things like that that I normally use. Okay, now let's see what else did I get. I got an eyeliner, uh, the Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil in the color Perversion, which is black. And I don't wear a whole lot of black eyeliners, but I'm going to wear this. Because I know that these Urban Decay eyeliners, they, they, once they dry down, they stay put. Because I have one already. So I'm just going to use this in my waterline. just to help finish this eye look out. Really, really nice. I have the color Alkaline from the Naked Heat Collection. I really like it. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to get this product right here. This is awesome. So, anyway, it just really defines the eyes. So that turned out really good. So anyway, they have this little um, color chart on the inside here 40 41 different color so I'll hang on to that until I can shop again get on their website and shop maybe buy another one and then I had some points that I was able to redeem where I had been saving up and I was looking for just the perfect item and I'd been looking for several weeks. And you know you have to check the website pretty often because they sell out of the point items because they're pretty popular. So you have to decide, you know, what you want um, instead of get, you know, get on there every day. And that way you can get the first pick instead of getting stuck with something that you really don't care for. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to just use up my points just on any little thing, you know, just for the sake of using them up. So I checked uh, one day. And they happen to have this highlighter that I've been wanting for a while from Wet n Wild. And I was like, woohoo, jackpot. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder, which is from the limited edition. Um, and it's called the Sweetest Bling. And this is what that looks like. So let me just swatch it for you so you can see. And the, there's two colors here. There's the darker pink and the lighter pink. So I'll swatch them separate, and then I'll then I'll rub I'll blend them together on my hand. So there you can see the lighter one and the darker one. Really, really pretty. And this is really finely milled, so it's not going to emphasize the texture. So I'm just going to blend all this together, just so you can see what it would look like if you were to swirl your brush in the product and just sweep it over your face and that's what that looks like just a beautiful sheen really really excited to get this so that's my ipsy bag for this time and let's review the products from last time the uh the bag from last time was really really cute i took it with me when we traveled and anyway i've got a travel video that i'll be sharing with you where you can see what I carried with me on on our trip and I like carrying these deluxe size samples that Ipsy sends to us um, as much as possible you know on trips and stuff because it just takes up less room so anyway the last month I got this awesome Luxie brush which I have just used and used and used very 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 happy about that the whole bag is worth it for that brush. And then I got this Snail Essence. Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power uh, Essence, which I've got on my face today underneath my foundation. This stuff is really, really good. It smells awesome. And then I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance.
Primer, which I'm also wearing today. Very, very nice product. And the card was like a boss last time, if you recall. So it's all about the boss lady. And then we got from Elizabeth Mott this eyeshadow called Gunmetal called Pop Goes the Shadow. And it came in this little container. A real pretty gunmetal gray. And I put this on in my last video, which I, that's in my playlist. And I'll link that below where you can see what that looks like on my eyes. I got a lot of compliments on that eye look, by the way. Got a lot of compliments on the whole look. Because it was so glowy. And then from Pixie, uh, Petra, Pixie by Petra, we got this um, beautiful little duo blush, beauty blush duo, Peach Honey. And so, let me put that up close to you. So you can see what that looks like. And I wore this last time as well. So you can use this as a blush topper or a highlighter, either one. It's not really a blush blush all by itself. I mean, it could be if you like a really light blush. But I like something with a little bit more color than that. So, But that that's great because it's got the shimmer, you know. So that really, really works nice as a highlighter. Alright, and so those are the products that I got from last time. And I've really enjoyed using all of them. So I was really excited about my Ipsy bag. So anyhow, this is the products for this month and reviewing last month thanks for watching hope you all subscribe down below make sure and check out my ipsy playlist where you can see what i did last time and i will come back in a few minutes and we'll work on finishing this eye look with the urban decay shadow box palette so we'll see you next time thanks for watching god bless